Welcome, Welcome to, to Shamba, Shamba Chef. Chef. In this series, we delve into the most traditional of African cultures, food. Traveling across Kenya to find out what we eat, where we get it, and how we cook it. We explore new ways to cook, make it quicker, safer, cleaner, and at half the cost. We meet families, enter their homes, and find out what happens in Kenyan kitchens. Learning, giving advice, transforming kitchens, and most importantly, enjoying food. Welcome to Shamba Chef. Today we're in Getuda village in Limuru. And here they have a variety of food from all over the country. Yes, you will find Gideri with potatoes, Mokimo with potatoes, rice with potatoes, meat with potatoes. Of course, it's basically a different mix of potatoes and then they'll give it different names. Uh -huh. But uh, do they cook it with anything else? Carrots with potatoes, eggs with potatoes, potatoes with potatoes. I like the sound of it, but is that a balanced diet? Uh, I don't know, but let's go and meet up with Mama Njoki to find out more. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. This is Milian Joki, Jacinta Jelly, the Istanbul, Christine, Wangoi. Uh -huh. And also I have Dian. How old is the little one? Six months. You have a beautiful family. And for the man of the house, you are in the middle of beautiful flowers. Six yes. of them. Hey, it is very fantastic. Who is a better cook? Is it you or Ms. me? Yeah. Does he even help? <laughs> yes, yes, he helped me to ah, cook. That's interesting because later on, we're going to be having a cook-off to see who can make the most delicious and most importantly nutritious meals. Yes, Mama, do you think um, Zay is going to win or you're going to win? I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is she going to win? Uh, no. <laughs> Before that, we'd like to see your kitchen mm. and see if we can make some improvements on it. It's so smoky in here. It smoke a lot. The sufuria got black in between the walls, you see. Do you come in here to cook? Uh, I usually use the small kitchen there. Mm. You have a small kitchen in the house? Yes. And what are we doing here? This place is terrible. Let's go there. Yes. Let's get out. Yeah. to cook in here? I use charcoal. It's good, but the charcoal is too expensive. When you're done cooking, what do you do with the charcoal that's still burning? Sometimes I remove the charcoal and pour water. Having to see charcoal, sometimes it's burned like that or you have to pour water on it every day and you're the one who's buying the charcoal. Yes, it is burning my money. It's coming very expensive to buy. Mama Njoki, you have a beautiful big garden. But I've noticed you don't have a kitchen garden. Because my children spray all over here, but I'm very happy when I have one to grow so that my expenses go down. I think I have a plan on how to help you improve your kitchen garden. But don't worry, I'm not going to spoil your children's playing area. <laughs> <laughs> I can be very happy. Also, we are going to sort out this charcoal situation so that you're not wasting so much money. We've got work to do. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> later. All right. That firewood kitchen is completely horrible. I could hardly keep my eyes open. To think that the kitchen in the main house is meant to be a solution, it's ending up not being one. Charcoal is very expensive, it's still producing smoke, and a lot of it is actually going to waste. It's a tricky situation right there. They're a very modern family. We have to come up with a very modern solution, and I know just the person. And I know just a way they can keep their beautiful garden and still have a shamba near them. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I'll see you later. All right. Mama has a special kitchen just for wood, it's smoky and unhealthy. She has another kitchen in the main house for charcoal, which she prefers, but it's very expensive. Faris from Hashi Gas is here with a cheaper, cleaner solution. Faris, Mama yeah. has a kitchen outside, yeah. but it's been very smoky. Yeah. And then when it comes to her using charcoal, yeah. it's ending up being very expensive. I can smell some smoke, mm -hmm. which clearly says that even this charcoal is producing some smoke. And if we look up, you can see some smoke here. I can see your sufuria here. It has a lot of soot. Mm -hmm. You see all this soot? This is what remains after you have inhaled smoke. Uh, yeah. Assume this sufuria has cooked for a whole year. Yes. It means that you've been inhaling smoke for a whole year. If you continue doing this, you are likely to develop some lung problems. And that is why you need to be safe. And safety can be found on gas. In Kenya, over 15,000 people die each year from indoor air pollution. 
This is far more than the number of people dying in Kenya from road accidents. Say you're cooking ugadi today. The moment you're done with cooking, what do you do with charcoal? I remove the charcoal, mm -hmm. then I pour water. Sometimes I leave it to burn yeah. and finish itself. Wow, and now that is wasting money. <laughs> no wonder you are saying that it is very expensive. Yes. Yeah, you know when you use gas, the moment you're done with cooking, you just turn it off. When you're making ugali, sometimes you don't need too much heat. We have something we call the burner. This is supposed to regulate the amount of flame. Yes. So you want to increase the amount of heat you, you increase. Yes. And when you want to reduce, you reduce. And the moment you're done with cooking, you just turn it turn off. It. So there is no wastage when it comes to gas. How does the Hashi gas work? This is a gas cylinder. And then you come and feed the burner here. After that, you place the grill on top. So the first thing you do is to light the match. So, you see? Yes. And you can increase the amount of the flame that you need, yes. and you can reduce it. And it does not have any smoke. Hashi gas safe to my children? Yes, it is very safe. The moment you close your valve quite well here, yeah, mm. you are very sure that there is no gas that is leaking. But if you want to be safer, you yes. can just remove the burner and keep it elsewhere. Oh. Gas has been fitted by a certain smell, like rotten cabbages or, or garlic, mm. so that the moment you enter the house and you smell some garlic or some rotten cabbages, mm. you are very sure that there is a leakage. And when there is a leakage, you should not panic. You open the door, then open the windows, mm. just to ensure that there is a lot of air coming yeah, in. Yeah. And then you can carry the cylinder and you take it outside. And you're supposed to take it back to the person who sold it to you. Is the gas able to save her some money? How much do you buy a sack? 1,200. How long does it take you to finish a bag? It's like three weeks. So that means about 400 shillings every week. Mm. Gas will cost you between 800 and 900 and it will last you six weeks. It means that per week you're only spending 150 shillings when using gas yes. and 400 when using charcoal. Mm. So when you use gas every week, you're saving 250 shillings. So currently, Mama spends 400 shillings each week on charcoal. With Hashi gas, she would spend only 150 shillings per week, which means every week she would save 250 shillings. Hey, I'm very happy. So that's a thousand every month. <laughs> yeah. How much is it to get the cylinder? For the initial cost, you'll spend about 5,000 shillings. You get the grill, you get the burner, you get the cylinder, and you get the gas. But once your gas runs out, mm. when you go to replace, you will not have to buy the whole unit again. Mm. You just carry your empty cylinder, then it is exchanged with a filled one mm. at only 800 or 900. So you're saving 1,000 shillings every month. Even after the, you recover the amount that you spent on the cylinder, you continue saving 1,000 every other month. And how much does this jiko cost? 300. For how long will it live? It have one year. When you buy this gas, you'll not think about buying it again because you'll take the cylinder, you get another cylinder. Mm -hmm. So as long as you live, you always be saving money mm. because you're not buying any new cylinder anymore. Where can mama get a, a cylinder? Hashi gas is available all over the country. You go to any shopping center, mm. any supermarket, you'll get it. Paris, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mama wants to keep her garden as it is, but also grow vegetables. Hmm, a tricky problem. Well, Julia from Will IPM has the perfect solution in a sack. That bag has a population of 40 plants. You can start harvesting to last you for seven months. That's why we want to build another one so that you can have continuous supply throughout the year. And that will take very small space, very little water, and produce all these vegetables that you're seeing here. Let's get to work. Wow. We are putting just two kgs of DAP, two kgs of lime fertilizer, three wheelbarrows of manure, three wheelbarrows of soil. After that, then we put in the bag like a big shamba, very little water, less manpower, green vegetables by your door side. Our bag is ready, this time to water. Initial watering takes like 100 liters, but after that, you just use five liters per water. Now it's the time we do the planting. No more fertilizer, 
It was just watering and harvesting. It's great, but it seemed to be very expensive. Maybe the activity that we have done here is only 2,000, but you can count the cost of buying vegetables on daily basis, the transport that you are using, and you see these ones are going to be very fresh. This bag is very strong. It can last for 10 years. After the crops have exhausted the fertility, what to do, you demolish your bag, you clean your bag once more and then build your bag once more and then do the planting. Where can I buy this? You can buy them at our office in Hill, IPM in Dika. And also you can buy them online and the delivery is free. Now you're going to have a variety of uh, vegetables just outside your house. I'm very happy. Thanks to July, it's time for us to go now. Welcome. All right. Those sacks are great. Vegetables right on your doorstep. But what else should Mama and her family be eating? Let's go and meet our nutritionist Esther to find out. So what do you normally eat? Potatoes, githeri, mokimo. That sounds like potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Is that good for the diet? Potatoes are a good source of energy, but it's very important to have a balanced diet every day. She's eating a variety of foods from the different food groups as it's explained in the Wheel of Food. A balanced diet has foods from different groups and you should eat a food from each of these groups every day. There are five groups. These are animal protein, help with growth and strength for strong bones, teeth and muscles. Plant protein, help to make healthy blood and provide fiber for healthy stomachs and digestion. Vegetables, help with good growth of bones and good vision. Fruits, give lots of energy and help stop infection and sickness. Starchy staples provide energy for work and movement. So Esther, Mama has five growing girls mm -hmm. and Liam actually who is her youngest is just slightly over six months now. Is there anything specific they should eat? I think it's important to eat a balanced diet for everyone but it's particularly important for pregnant women and children who are under two years and that's like the first a thousand days. The time from the start of pregnancy to when a baby turns to two years is called the 1,000 day period. These 1,000 days are the most important in a child's life for growth and development. For your child to grow healthy and strong and be able to learn well in school, the most important thing is good nutrition. Eating a diverse balanced diet for you and your baby is the best thing for your child's future. For all babies who are less than six months, it's important that they are exclusively breastfed until they're six months. Breast milk is uh, perfect for babies because it's a wholesome food and it has all the nutrients a child needs and it also protects from diseases. So for Lian, who is slightly over six months, she should already have begun eating a real food. For you, because you're continuing to breastfeed until Lian is two years old, you need extra food and that means eating healthy snacks. I better head off to the market to go and get some healthy ingredients for our chefs. See you later. Yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs> and see you after the break when we find out what's cooking. Do you want more information on how to transform your kitchen? Visit our website at www.shambachef.com. You can find delicious recipes, cooking and nutrition tips, download leaflets, and find out more about the kitchen makeovers shown in the program. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Wondering how much your agribusiness will cost and how much profit you make? Wonder no more. Simply visit our website www.donlosetheplot.tv Click on Budget Mkononi and you will see how profitable your business can be. With Budget Mkononi, you can build personalized budgets on a range of commodities in a quick and easy manner. The tool also has farming tips. So, use Budget Mkononi to budget anytime and anywhere. Welcome back. Let's go and find out who is going to be competing in our cook-off. Shosho Monica, the grandma who cooks what her mother cooked, and her mother before that, a long heritage of cooking tradition. Will the judges be impressed? Mama Munga, mother to three boys. She knows how to feed big appetites, but today is about quality, not quantity. Can she do it? 
Baba Njoki loves to cook for the six girls in his life. Believes in simple cooking done well. But will it be better than his wife's food? Mama Njoki likes to cook for her family, but today it's all about winning against her husband. Melvin, let's see what you brought us. First of all, because of the kids, yogurt, eggs and meat as well. Animal proteins are good for growth of your body. They help uh, build your muscles, teeth and also bones. Black beans, green peas and just normal beans. Those are what we call plant proteins. Very good because they keep us healthy and also they help with digestion. Green bananas, maize, maize. and uh, flour. In this area, potatoes are the in thing. Starchy staples give you lots of energy. Tomatoes, skumawiki, spinach, pumpkin leaves. And I've got some orange fleshed vegetables. Pumpkin and uh, carrots. Now the orange uh, fleshed vegetables are especially good for babies because they help with their development and also good for bones and good vision. Watermelon, oranges and of course the banana. Now the fruits give us a strong immune system helping us stay healthy and you know fight diseases more easily. Yeah. Okay guys, you've got all these amazing ingredients and behind you a wonderful, nice, clean kitchen setup and hashi stove. We have Chef Martin and Esther, our expert nutritionist. Now, they're not just going to be assisting you, but they're also going to be judging you because it's a competition. And the winner will take home one of these fantastic gas stoves. You have just one hour to make a very delicious, but most importantly, nutritious meal. Our contestants are setting up. Lucky for them, those stoves are really easy to light. So let's go see what Chef Martin is up to. Using the same ingredients, he's going to be showing us how to make a super delicious and healthy meal. Let's go. Let's go. How is it going? Good, good. Because today I'm using what I usually use in the kitchen. Gas is quick. High flame, low flame. You can do it any way you want. So yeah. what's on the menu? So I'm doing a vegetable coma. A vegetable what? Coma. What is coma. that? It's yeah. just a mixed vegetable stew. For the ingredients, I chose some potatoes, pumpkin, mm -hmm. and we have pre-boiled garden peas. So I got my yogurt, carrots, coriander, fresh ginger, and my favorite. This one you should have it every day. This is lemongrass, mm -hmm. my tomatoes, boiled eggs, and I'm just going to make a one pot meal. It's a vegetarian option, you've got the five full groups, but you still have a dash of uh, animal protein in the eggs, which is properly yeah, yeah. balanced, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see what the other contestants are up to. Mama Njoki, Karibu. this uh, stove, how do you like it? When I want to flame it on, it's easy. When I want to flame it out, also it's easy. So what are you cooking for us today? I'm cooking mokimo and a stew of meat. When you are cooking the meat, put it on high heat, put in your meat, seal it fast so that the nutrients are going to remain inside, the flavors also. Then after that you can reduce it and cook your normal way. Thank you. Welcome. Sure, sure. Yeah. How is the cooking going? Stuff is very nice. My sulfurs, they have not get dirty. Also, there is no smoke. And what do you normally use at home? Firewood. Why is it that uh, you don't use gas at home? From when I was born, you have been using firewood at home. So I didn't know and I have tried to use it. And I have seen it is very nice. What are you cooking for us? Jahe Mokimo. I'm going to start with the cabbages. To maintain the flavors of the cabbages, cook it for two minutes. It's nutritious and crunchy, the textures. Can't wait to taste. <laughs> what is this food that's smelling so good? Beef and tomatoes and potatoes, carrot. I have cut. I then put this carrot which I have treated oh, great, the, great. there. If you're talking about the carrot, the chunky ones, Put them the last thing. You want them to be a bit crunchy. Can't wait to taste. <laughs> uh, how are you finding hashi gas? It is very fast in cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about your menu. What's cooking? Ugali. Uh, week. The carrot I grind it. Ah. And I also I mix it. You can also add a squeeze of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. It also adds some punchiness to the flavor. Can't wait to taste. So I have to get back. Catch you later then. Okay, see okay, you. Sure. All right. <laughs> This is an easy meal, a meal that you can make at home. Just a little bit of oil, add the onions. After that, ginger and garlic. We have our tomatoes. We are going to add all the potatoes, the pumpkin and the carrot. This is the point that you're going to add our garden peas. And remember, our garden peas are pre-boiled. Add the tomato paste, add some water. So I'm going to leave this to boil for 10 minutes. Chef Martin is doing a vegetable coma. Which apparently you knew what that was. Well, I didn't. I think it's a really well-balanced 
diet and really healthy. Not just for the whole family, but especially for Lian. Mm -hmm. Mama and Joki's meal. It looks very colorful, it looks yeah. good. Did you check out her meat? It looks really delicious. That is also very well balanced. Now, Shushu's put in raw bananas and then ripe bananas, which is a fruit. It's going to be quite a flavorful meal. It's really easy and also good for a baby like Lian to eat. A Mama Munga's food. She just decided to put that whole thing together inside. It's quicker, faster, and it's really colorful. Babanjoki. He's just going for a very basic meal. Ugali skumawiki, bam. I have never seen somebody putting carrots in skuma. So how much more time have we got left? Just five minutes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, just five minutes left. Let's go and get Esther. Okay, let's go. And our food is almost cooked. Add a bit of the lemongrass. We'll add a bit of yogurt and give it two to three minutes to just simmer. We have our eggs. Put this on top of our meal, some coriander. And our food is ready. Chef Martin, a vegetable coma with egg, carrot, pumpkin, potato and peas, followed by slices of fresh orange. Tasty. I like it, it's really good. It is really nice. It has a little bit of everything that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Mama Njoki, mokimo of potatoes, maize, beans and pumpkin leaves served with beef stew. I love that it has quite a mix of foods from several food groups. Because Lian will also eat, just make sure that there's a fruit to get that extra boost for strengthening the immunity. It's good work. Thank, Thank you. Shosho Mwanika, mokimo of black beans with savory and sweet bananas served with fried cabbage and carrot. It's simple but very tasty. And the combination is amazing. Shosho, thank you. Thanks. Mama Munga, meat peas and potato stew, served with carrot, tomato and onion salad. In your plate you have a little bit of everything and it's a wholesome food. Just to complete the picture, you have a fruit to protect from any disease. Yes. Babanjoki, ugali, served with fried skumawiki and grated carrot. What I would have encouraged you to do is to have an animal protein would, would mix well and make it more wholesome and nutritious. I actually like that combination of skuma yeah, and, and carrots. Carrots in uh, skuma wiki, yeah. modern men are experimental. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. Well, let's begin with Mamanjoki. Mm -hmm. I think her food was really nice, just that it was really dry. They had 60 minutes to make mokimo, make the beef. And she also had the chance to do some kachumbari. So she worked hard. Yeah. Shosho mokimo was the best. The flavors between the sugar and the salt was good, but it was too dry. I loved hanja hair because it was very soft. Babanjoki, I like the little surprise about uh, skuma and carrots, but... Uh. Guys, that skuma wiki was well done. One Whatever. man's meat is another man's Poison. What about Mama Munga? Yeah. I loved. You love? I loved okay. her food. I was thinking of Lian uh -huh. and ultimately this food has to be eaten by the most vulnerable in the home. Yeah. So it had everything. Okay guys, I mean they all tried and we seem to all have different opinions but at the end of the day they can only be one winner. One winner. Everybody did a very good job. But the one who gets to win this stove is the one that has made the most delicious and nutritious meal. The winner of today's cook-off is... Shosho! <laughs> Congratulations, Shosho. You. you made the most delicious and yeah, nutritious meal. You. Keep it up. Okay. It was my first time. I've not used it. I have been using firewood at home, and I have found it very simple. It will make your life easier because I will not be going out to look for firewood. I used to say that it is only the youth who can use this gas. But for today, I have seen even old age people can use it. No more firewood from today onwards. Mama Njoki, just look at your new kitchen. It's very beautiful, fantastic. Yeah. Over here, we decided to put formica. That means that after you cut your ingredients, it becomes very easy for you to wash. Everything remains healthy. Now we've changed your traditional charcoal jiko to this new one. 
So no more smoke, which means your walls will remain clean and your ceiling will remain white. And then your sufriers are going to remain as they are, looking brand new, no more soot, because when it comes to gas, there's no smoke coming out of it. It's make work easier when I'm cooking. When I'm using gas, I'm going to save 1,000 shillings per month. I wish I could bought it before. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So what do you learn from our experts? I learned to use five different types of food every day. Eating well for the first 1,000 days. It's very important for the little baby's life. Nzea, what did you learn? To add more nutrients in foods so that we can make the body healthy and prevent some more diseases. So you'll be surprising mama and the girls with some new delicious recipes, huh? Yes. <laughs> You're lucky. Yes, I'm lucky. Great. Babanjoki, yes. how are you finding the Hashi gas? It's no smoke mm -hmm. and I save money. Thank you so much, Baba. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. When we travel to another Kenyan kitchen right here on Shamba, Shamba Chef. Chef. Bye! Bye. Bye.